show you the price of justice! As planned! I was born in 2027. After the corn syrup droughts, after the bandwidth riots, after people stopped trying to fix problems and just tried to outlive them. My parents they didn't make it through those times, so I live here in Columbus, Ohio with my Aunt Alice. In 2045, Columbus is the fastest growing city on Earth. It's where Halliday and Morrow started gregarious games. These days, reality is a bummer. Everyone's looking for a way to escape. And that's why Halliday, that's why he was such a hero to us. He showed us that we could go somewhere without going anywhere at all. James Halliday saw the future, and then he built it. He gave us a place to go, a place called the Oasis. This is the Oasis. It's a place where the limits of reality are your own imagination. You can do anything. Go anywhere. Like the vacation planet. Surf a 50-foot monster wave in Hawaii. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. But they stay because of all the things they can be. Yo, what up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's all my retain gang doing this evening? <laughs> How's all my C retention men in the building doing this evening? <laughs> it's your man in the building, your captain, bro, about to take you to the next level, bro. The shave lion king bro what is happening with all my folks i hope y'all are doing well this evening man i ain't gonna be in here too long fellas i just wanted to come and holler at y'all real quick about some man i want you guys to understand bro i want you guys to understand bro that life okay life is gonna throw you all sorts of challenges life is gonna take give you all sorts of issues Life's going to throw you all sorts of obstacles, okay? All sorts of obstacles, man, especially when you're retaining your C. Let me explain something to you guys, man. All right, you guys all know that I've been retaining my C, bro, for two years and seven months, bro, okay? And the reason why a lot of y'all are curious is because a lot of y'all are on your journey and a lot of y'all want to see, you know, where, what happens if you go a certain, you know, streak, right? This is why we watch each other, right? We want, we're, we're curious about what you're going to go through, okay, at different parts of your streak. And I'm on God mode. I'm here. I'm, I'm at the, the final level, guys. So it's no wonder that there's attraction to the topic. But what I want you guys to understand is just because you get here on God mode, Okay, just because you get here, bro, and you literally feel like you can control everything, I want you to understand something. There are still going to be times, there are still going to be moments in your life, bro, where you have these thoughts that try to come in and try to see if there's still any weak spots in your chink, in your armor, okay? And the reason I wanted to make this video is because something like that happened to me today. And it brought into realization, okay, of some things that I want to talk to you guys about. Number one, I want to tell you guys, bro, that yes, man, even people up here on God mode, okay, even monks, okay, even yogis, it's a reason why these people, okay, choose to practice this sacred, okay, and secret energy, okay, cultivation all right, away from everybody. It's a reason why they practice these, okay, in these countries, bro, all right, where they go out in fields and they're out in peace and they're out in nature and they're all by themselves and there's no other humans around for miles, okay? This is how these guys are doing it. So when you look at a retainer over here in the United States, which I told you, any man over here in the United States, bro, who is retaining his seed, bro, needs to be respected. 
I told you this is ground zero, bro. This is the hardest place to retain your seed, bro. You got to understand that all these other people outside this country got an advantage on you. This is why I believe we are the chosen ones. And that means everybody here, bro. Everybody is looking in on us and how we are doing. Okay. They can't come here and help us. You notice that, right? Because every time someone does try to help us, what it makes it look like there's some kind of combat. And then, you know, our protection agency does what it needs to do, right? So no one could ever give us a message. But what I'm starting to see, bro, with my retention eyes is we're all here, bro. And we're all being watched on a big stage. All of us here in the United States, bro, they know, everybody knows this is the most radical place, bro. Okay. Everybody knows that, bro. Okay. But they also know it's a place where they would just like to run to real quick, bro. Jump in and get inside the gold rush real quick and take their money and bounce. Nobody from the outside wants to come here and stay here forever, bro. Okay. Because they see what we go through on a daily basis here. Okay. And I want you to understand, guys, that it is damn near impossible okay, in the United States without having your ducks in order, bro, to retain your seed successfully, okay, you are going to have it the hardest. I'm sitting here telling you from my God mode chair, bro, that I am still affected, okay? Let me, let me, let me tell you guys something really quick, okay? I have been having in, in, in my thoughts, come in there, bro, of people trying to make me come off of my streak. Okay. I have opportunities, bro, where I could easily be like, okay, I'm about to come off of my streak, bro. And here's the thing. I'm not even, it's not even the perfect situation, if you will. You know what I'm saying? And that shows me right there, bro. That that's the matrix. That's the outside energies trying to come in here and take away what I got going, bro. Okay. Something that ain't going to last, bro. Something that was just probably going to end up being at the end of the day, a few times here, a few times there, instant gratification. All robbing me, bro, for everything that I've built up, everything that I've been working hard for. I'm right here. I can taste it. And all of these negative energies, thoughts are trying to come into my head. What does that tell you guys? That tells you when you have gone long enough on your journey and you have built up enough to lose, this is the way the matrix comes and attacks you. You guys must understand, bro. You must understand. You will never give up when you take retention seriously. Let me tell you how I know this. Because as I told you guys, I've been sitting here, bro. I've been having these thoughts. I've been, I have these opportunities, bro. I can come off the street, bro, now, right? And it's actually somebody that I'm attracted to, but it's not somebody that I can see myself with. It's not someone that we would get along long term, you know? It's someone that's just like, we see each other and it's instant attraction, okay? These are the things that are coming into my head. But guess what, guys? I noticed, and this is the truth about anything that's tried to knock me off of my path, bro, especially since I've been up on God mode. All they have is a prayer. A lot of homies ask what's a prayer. they have is a Hail Mary. Bro, you are locked in once you've made the choice to retain your seed, bro. Once you've made that oath with yourself and you've actually gone on retention and you're on a long-term streak, I'm talking about eight months to a year plus, bro. You have this ability to say no. You have this ability to keep walking. You have this ability, bro, that somehow, some way, I don't understand how I'm doing it, fellas, but I keep walking forward despite all of these 
opportunities that have been presented to me. What this is showing me, bro, is in fact, I know something big is coming. I know something probably so big is coming. It's the reason why these things are starting to happen more and more often. But what I've noticed is, I've noticed I will never give up. And this is that motivation. This is that drive and that focus that you absolutely have to experience, fellas. As a man, when I was younger, when thoughts like that would come into my head, when opportunities like that would come into my head, okay, it didn't take very much thinking, bro, before I made or act. Let's get it. Let's just keep the facts here. We're men, bro. Okay. We make the decision instantly. We don't beat around the bush. And for the simple fact that I'm telling you, bro, <laughs> that this is what's been happening to me lately, bro, shows me, bro. It shows me that retention has given me to ability, bro, to never give up. I can't give up. And you want to know what, guys? I'm going to be honest with y'all. I always honest with but I'm really going to be honest with y'all because I never thought I would say this. All right? I never thought I would say this, bro. Sometimes I'd be like, what did I get myself into? I cannot cap to you. I cannot lie to you. Because I have now turned my back on everything. Do you hear me? I don't do pleasures. I don't do things that, you know, incite my ego and make me feel good. I don't do that. I'm walking a completely different path, bro. And I've been having these moments, these thoughts come into my head where I'm looking at what I'm doing and I'm seeing the benefits of it. But at the same time, bro, I'm like, what have I done? Do I really want to experience life for life or do I really want to be this person that I can't even imagine who he's going to be. It's such a hard tug of war when you have all of this energy built up and you're trying your hardest to, to please your creator or what you believe your creator wants you to be and how he wants you to be. You try your hardest, bro, and still is a tug of war between the good and the bad. You see, all of us, no matter what, bro, want to naturally, okay, acquiesce to the things in our lower half because it's easier. It's familiar. Do you guys get what I'm saying? We've been doing it so long. It's familiar, okay? but dare us to be great dare us to try something bro that we've never given a chance man all right and see what the possibilities and the potential that you have for greatness when you know greatness involves things that are opposite that contradict the lower half the lower chakras okay Knowing that decision that you got to make and you have to force yourself every single day because it's a battle. You see so many people around you. And when I say so many, it's like 99% of the people around you are still living that regular life. Okay. They're all out here with addictions. They're all out here depleted of life force energy. They're all up out here up and down their chakras. And when I say up and down your chakras, I mean, they're happy one day, they're sad one day, they're mad one day. They're never consistent. So I do see the positive effects of retaining your seed, okay? But I'm still human at the end of the day. I have not transitioned from this form. 
even though I am playing with the powers and the energy of such, I am still a mortal here in a human body. And the expectation and the weight on your shoulders of the pressure that you see every single day around you, bro, okay, can eventually have these thoughts weighing heavy in your mind. But what I've noticed is once you've given yourself over to the unknown, it's almost like torture. It's almost like you can't go back. Now, imagine being taking torture from the opposite perspective. We think of torture as, as something that's holding us back from something that we want or wanting to get away or something that might be painful. Now, imagine this torture is something that you can never go back to the things that brought you those feelings. <laughs> when I tell you guys that this is the craziest, most ridiculous at the same time thing that I've ever done in my life, okay? It is, okay? But it is so profound in the rewards that you get from it. But Yet and still, the human side of me, this body that I'm fighting with every day, this flesh that wants to have its way, okay, because it's being enticed, all right? We live in a, the matrix. The matrix is set up per perfectly to make people falter, bro, okay? They're going to get you in one way or another. They're going to get you through the foods and the sweets, okay? They're going to get you through the corn and the women, okay? They're going to get you through the drugs. They're going to get you through the money. Regardless, they're going to win. The matrix is undefeated in case you have not seen. Okay. We, there's not too many people we've seen that has escaped this thing. Okay. All the people that we think that have escaped this have wrote books, you know, <laughs> people that are, that are, that are highlighted in the Bibles and the Qurans, right? <laughs> are, the, are those the only people that have escaped this matrix? <laughs> Cause that's what it seems like. Okay. So you got to understand what you're dealing with, guys, all right, and understand that there's going to be some major, major, major decisions, okay, that a solid thinking mind is going to have to, okay, dissect, all right? And if you're not one of these guys that are taking this journey serious, I'm telling you right now, this is why I know most of y'all are not doing it because you're just hearing the pressure alone from it. See, this is where I think we found something that is going to make, you know, literally demigods out of us down here in, in, our, in our mortal bodies, okay? Because it is going to force us to evolve. It is going to force us to live a life that we are not accustomed to. And with that is going to be a tremendous amount of positive attributes that come with it, okay? We're talking about lost arts, okay? Lost abilities. It's the reason why they talk things like the sixth sense, bro, all right? It's a reason why you've been hearing me say so many things about intuition, bro, and all these different things that have been popping off on me like crazy, all right? I'm pretty sure we do all have these abilities, but you, you're not even scratching the surface until you're retaining your life force energy, okay? Because that's the energy that seems to make everything more sensitive. And with, with that energy, bro, like I said, it's a power that I want to have, guys. As much as I want to go back, I'm not even going to sit here and and cap do i was just looking at people today and i was just like i said out loud i was like bro i was like look at all these people in relationships man i was like look look, look at all these people in relationships bro okay and what i don't realize <laughs> is that i said that before and i put, put myself in that same situation and then while i was in the situation i was wishing i was back on the outside so I guess with that being in mind, bro, okay, I just decided, okay, to keep going on my journey, okay? I didn't give in to the thoughts. I'm just telling you guys what all of a sudden transpired in my mind, okay? 
And I see now, I see now, bro, on how this long-term retention journey, bro, this long-term streak, bro, has, I can't go back. It's like torture, bro. I know it sounds crazy, guys. I know it sounds crazy, bro. But it's like torture, bro. I can't go back. I, Bro, I've had so many opportunities. And I just didn't do it. I just didn't do it. But also, you want to know something, too, I haven't told you guys. Let me tell you this. Let me speak on this briefly before I go. So, guys, I met a woman that I really like, okay? I seriously have, okay? A woman that I really like, bro. All right? She's low-key. She's not a big internet person. You know, she works hard. She knows her worth, all right? She's beautiful, all right? She's young. She looks great, bro. And she's a sweet ass person. Okay. So I'm good. Okay. As far as giving in to something that I think I'm going to be wasting my energy on. Okay. And like I said, all of a sudden, when I feel like I'm getting to, you know, I'm getting to a point where I'm about to receive something big, I've getting these distractions. <laughs> I kid you guys not, bro. It's crazy, bro. It's like all of a sudden it's, it, it was it's like quiet for a while and then all of a sudden it's an abundance. Okay. It's crazy the way things work, bro. Okay. It really is. But what it shows me, man, is it showing me that they're honestly the energies that at B, bro, are wanting me to come off of my streak. Point up. Flat out, point blank, period, bro. Throwing distractions at me. Okay. Left and right, bro. All right. But I'm just going to let you guys know that I sat here and I remained solid. All right. I've remained solid, especially like I told you now, because I actually have found someone that I actually like, bro. All right. And that's been a while. It's been, I haven't really, I can't say I've been looking, but I definitely have had my eyes on the swivel. I mean, who doesn't look at women? You know what I mean? So I've had my you know, I on a swivel for over two years and in, in, in six months, bro. And then all of a sudden, bam, <laughs> bam, you know, I meet someone, you know, that I really like. So that's what it is, guys. Okay. I just want you guys to understand, man, that on retention, bro, when you're holding your seed to this level, guys, that you are honestly going to build up a resilience so strong, bro, that you won't be able to give up. And I just want to let you guys know, if you guys are on a long-term streak right now, for some of you guys that are on the six month, eight month to one year, you guys have some major, major decisions coming up here soon, bro. Okay. Some major ones. Okay. Because I'm letting you know, bro, all right, this is this this could be dangerous in the fact that you will never go back to being that person that you used to be. So, if you, let's say you were one of these guys that was just really popular with the girls, all right? You were a ladies man. Maybe you were you you're good with the with your, with your voice, right? You're you're good with just people. Bro, all of these abilities are going to be taken away from you and you're going to be stripped. Okay, you're going to be stripped, bro. All right? But you are going to have gifts to bring in any person that you want. But here's the thing. The, the problem is now you have a conscience. Your conscience is awake. Okay. Your higher self is awake. So guess what? There'll be no more booty calls for you. Okay. There'll be no quickies for you. Okay. There, there'll be nobody giving you no kind of top, bro. Okay. Unless it's your wife. All right. So I want you to see the decisions that you are going to have to make, okay? Because this is how it's going to work. It, you're not going to be one of these people, bro, who's just going to come in here and think that they're, they're going to go on a long-term retention streak and be able to wean between the lines. It doesn't work like that. You hit a certain point and you're completely changed, bro. Once, once you've broken those chains, and you freed your mind, like my man said, it's 21 days before you break an addiction, right? Once you've hit a certain level on retention, bro, you've broken free. And now 
the only way are you going to go back? I mean, the only way you're going to go back, bro, is if you do some crazy rock bottom ish. All right. Where some massive depression comes in, which would be rare. Okay. Or you're going to be one of these guys who go on these mediocre streaks and they start to feel the heat. They start to feel the pressure. They see in themselves change. All right. They start to think of themselves as corny now. Okay. Or turning square because they're in the bed earlier. They're turning down some booty that they used to tap out or, you know, whatever it is that they're doing now. And now they're seeing a major transformation in their life. All right. And they feel uncomfortable. Okay. I told you, you're, you're going to feel major levels of this, bro. But just understand, guys, just understand. Be prepared. <laughs> That's all I could tell you, bro, because man, bro, sometimes I'm just not, I'm just keeping it real with you. Sometimes you guys, I just look back and I'm like, man, what did I do? There'll be, there's no more of that for me, bro. There are so many girls I see on the daily that I just want to just wrestle with. I'm just not going to, I'm not going to cap, but I can't, I can't, bro. It's over, bro. It's over for me. I sold out to retention, bro. It's all over for me. Okay. The only thing that is going to happen from this point out for me, bro, is getting with someone whom that, you know, we share the same vision. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect, but you know, the same goals, the same dreams and same aspirations, you know, someone that's, you know, been walking the, the, the path of celibacy, you know, whatever. Okay. That's the only way it's going to work for me. And I want you guys to understand that this is what's going to inevitably happen to you. Okay. When I told you when you're playing with this retention energy, bro, all right, <laughs> you can never go back, bro. And, and, and here's the thing I had to learn for y'all. I had to learn uh, to warn y'all. So this is something I want you guys to really think about, man. Okay. I really want you to think about it, bro. Okay. You know, if you're going to do this, you know, like I said, have a plan, bro. Okay. 90 days would be the peak that I want you guys to shoot for. Okay. Now that you see what someone who's gone on, you know, God mode retention, what it does to them, bro. All right. I'm not saying I've lost any of the faculties. I'm not saying it's a negative thing. That's the only negative thing that's came with it, but it's a, it's a, it's a very strong negative you know, um, memory that's hard to let go of. Okay. Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm reminded by it every single day. People, the 99% people are doing that of which I gave up on, which I walked away from. So despite all my super abilities and my powers that I have, yes, having women come up to me every single day, but it's upsetting because I know I, I can't knock them down. Unless it's something that, you know, that is, you know, on my frequency. I just can't. Okay. It just, man, like I said, just want to give you guys something to think about. Okay. If you're going to go on your long-term journey, bro. Okay. This is, this is something that we're not prepared for because I'm not even prepared for it. Okay. And it's, right around the corner for some of you guys who are retaining your seed. So that's all I really wanted to tell you guys tonight, man. I appreciate you guys for being in here tonight, man. Um, let me read some of these questions real quick, and then I'm about to get out of here, guys. Dylan, what's happening with you, man? Dylan says, the top of the top, fellas. Tell them, man. This is what we do. This is what we do over here. I appreciate you, Dylan. Hey, man, listen, Dylan, this weekend, bro, we're going to do... Uh, we're going to do another retainers hotline, bro. So make sure, bro, that you got some time, man. Okay. We'll, we'll, we could do a Saturday or Sunday night. It, it's whatever you guys want to do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get another one live, bro. Okay. I got a, I got it. So a couple guys that I met that want to come on and, and say some couple things, man. So make sure you guys show up Saturday. Free soul. What's happening with you, brother? Appreciate you for being in here tonight, bro. Truth and Broadcasting says, I had a woman court me for five months. 
staying over my house, walking around naked. <laughs> I've done two, I've done second to third base stuff, but no release. She sent me a text yesterday telling me she can't see me anymore. <laughs> Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I was pretty close to doing something like that myself, bro. But I understood for, for myself, bro. I understand how my blue balls act, bro. So I couldn't do any of that, bro. But I feel you, True for Broadcasting Station, man. I feel you, bro. She had to, she had to get rid of you, bro, because she could tell, bro, that she, she thought that you was playing with her. That's what, that's what happened, bro. <laughs> you was too solid for her, bro. You maintained the masculinity, bro. And she isn't used to that. She probably got, she could probably get any dude that she wanted in that position, bro, and get him to release his seed. No cap. MJ Frazier says, I realize that simply lust, even without X, will put all your life force in root chakra and renders it useless and weakens your aura. Bro, that's exactly what it does. But try telling that to the 99%, bro, who eat all sorts of GMO foods, okay, who drink all sorts of toxic water every day, okay, who put all sorts of toxics in their body every single day, deodorants, colognes, perfumes, makeups, hair dyes. I could go on and on and on and on and on, okay? All while their hormones are all thrown out of whack, okay? Try telling that to them. <laughs> this is why I said, bro, even if most of these people start jumping on retention, if they have not, gone on their spiritual awakening journey it's going to be you know it's going to be bro it's going to be a miss every single time because these people are just not going to get it bro all right it's sad that everybody is not going to you know experience the best version of themselves this is unfortunate man it's sad bro it really is because every day it's like i see people that are so cool that you know i wish i could save them i wish i could you know you know, help their lives out. You know, they're so depressed, bro. You know, they're so, you know, the things that they see out of their mouth is so negative, bro. You know, like, man, I just, I just, bro, I just wish I could save everybody, but you can't, man. Okay. And it's unfortunate, bro. But the best thing that you could do, man, is always just be a positive inspiration towards people. You hear someone talking negative, bro, uplift them. You know what I mean? You hear somebody talking down about a situation that they're going through, do the best that you can to show some light in that situation, okay? Because most people out here, bro, are so just busted down and, and low vibrational, bro, okay? They're just going to continue to walk around with that mindset, and then they end up spreading it to other folks, bro. So what I try to do to counteract that, bro, is like I said, I just try to remain positive at all times. I'm always uplifting people. I'm always trying to help people, bro, you know, with their day. Like I said, I see, I, I see new people every day, hundreds of people a month, bro. Okay. So I'm always trying to sit there and just tell, you know, people, you know, be positive, man. Like it's not that bad. Things get better. You know what I mean? You can lose the weight. All right. You can replace the money. You can replace the girl. Okay. There's just so many guys that come in and, and the number one thing that they're talking about is, the, is their girl, you know, either wife, you know, they've been in a divorce, you know, they've been cheated on, you know, like, bro, guys, all you guys have to do, bro, is just start retaining your seed. Okay. You don't even have to go on super long streaks, bro. Okay. I'm talking about 30 to 90 days will empower a man, bro. Okay. And keep him, you know, in pretty much one of those highly optimized states where he's going to be able to function, you know, at the top of his peak. And that's what you should be wanting to do. Okay. And as long as we could do that, bro, we'll be able to have more men out here, bro, feeling a lot better about themselves. Okay. I guarantee all this depression would go away, bro. All right. If people would just understand the power that they have of just cultivating their life force energy. Okay. It's a reason why the most high wants us to keep us inside our body because it is literally the armor of God. What's happening with you, bro? I didn't even see you in here. I appreciate you for being in here today, bro. My 
Malik says, I only know one person to escape the matrix. Who's that, bro? I'm curious. Who's this one person that escaped the matrix? Body Cam says, never dated, hugged, kissed, shook a girl's hand. I focus on my life mentally, physically, spiritually. I'm a 26-year-old male, bro, for real? Wow. Where, where, are you, where are you from, bro? You must not be from the United States because <laughs> that's pretty hard, bro. All right. That's, that's bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Listen, man, that if you can, if you've done that, if you accomplished that feat, bro, as a man, congratulations, bro. And you, you've been here in ground zero, bro. Congratulations. Okay. Cause you deserve that, bro. All right. But if you're from a different country or you come somewhere from here, bro, it's completely different because here, man, to be able to walk a life like that is damn near impossible. Everybody has had their innocence stripping and taken away from them as a youth here in the United States, bro. That is an absolute fact. And it is way more radical today than ever before. So imagine all the new youngsters that are being born in this generation on what they're going to have to endure and go through in their life. Okay. We can stop and we can slow down all this bull crap, bro. All right. If we just took you know, life seriously as a man. I, I told you, it's going to take the men to really stand up, bro. All right. And say enough is enough, ma'am. All right. And take their power back. And that's going to take every single man. Every man is going to get in line, bro. Okay. And once that happens, man, we have a completely thinking, a different thinking species of male. Okay. Way more calm, not aggressive, obedient, Okay. And, and living a life, bro, where they're in their higher selves and they're not in their lower selves, the world will be a better place. Okay. The world will be a better place. And this is what we are inspiring to do here in the SEMA retention community. Bonafide goods in the building. What's happening with you, brother? I didn't even see you in here tonight, ma'am. When I got my health together, my testosterone increased, and now my ambition and drive is higher than ever. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. And it is. Mine is too, bro. It really is, bro. It really is. Guys, I couldn't imagine. I'm going to say this one last thing in closing, bro. I couldn't imagine, man. If I was someplace where I didn't have all of this stuff around me, if I didn't have this world set up around me, if I was someplace where I actually had true solitude, a true a place where I didn't have to run into any sexual thoughts, anything that were, you know, you know, get me to think like that. Nothing. Could you imagine the type of person you would become? Could you imagine the type of gifts that you would have? Could you imagine how intelligent a man like that would be? And this is why I'm telling you, even though we're here in ground zero, guys, even though we're here in the hardest place to, for a man to retain his seed, okay? We're, we're in the hardest place, all right? Even though you still need to man up to your situation, okay? And you need to take responsibility, all right, for the outcome of your life. And the way that you're going to do that, bro, is by never giving up. So understand, just because you're out here and you're struggling on your retention journey, all right, and you know it's hard, that's not an excuse, bro. Because let me tell you something. There is no one going to come here and save you. You've seen that already. There is no one going to. Bro, you can keep praying. You can keep doing all the hell you want. But if you are not putting into action, okay, to take the steps to move forward, all right, to bring the things that you want into your life, then, man, all you did down here was waste your time as a man. 
And I'm telling you, there is nothing more shameful going to be on your shoulders at the end of your life than that. So even while things are hard, because they're always hard, okay, they're hard for all of us and they're more especially hard for men. Even though things are hard, bro, you still got to dig deep and find a way to win, okay? And that's going to take some extreme discipline for you. So I want you guys to buckle down, bro, okay? Hit those 90-day retention marks. It ain't hard. That's what you shoot for. 90 days. Sperm autogenesis. That's when you're at your peak. And that's when you do, you decide to come off your seat. All right? So all you guys out there, man, you guys have a good night. Stay focused. And remember, man, remember, bro, don't ever give up. Because once you start retaining your seat, I'm telling you, bro, once you take this journey seriously, bro, <laughs> you can never quit. So I appreciate you guys for being in here tonight, man. I will talk with you guys, in a, like I said, on the weekend. I think that'll be the next one we come back for. Make sure to tune in on the retainers hotline. I want to talk to whoever, bro. I want to talk to whoever who's retaining their seed, okay? And, I, and we're going to get, you know, everybody on here, bro, being able to share their story. So I appreciate you guys. I will talk to you on the next one. Have a great night, fellas. Peace. I will not stage, stage completed. Even if I must sacrifice my life.